Uh, good evening. <coughs> good evening and welcome to this uh, discussion. Um, we have a question on the board. They want us to differentiate f of x equals to 1 all over 3x plus 4 from first principle. And then they also want us to find dy dx given that uh, Roman 1 y equals sine 4x cubed and then Roman 2 that x squared y plus 3x cubed y squared minus 6x squared plus 2y squared equals to equals to 0. They are saying that f of x equals to 1 over 3x plus 4. Now, um, they want us to differentiate this one, but from the first principle. But when you differentiate this one using quotient rule, let us so that we shall be able to convert the result after differentiating by for, uh, using first principle. So when I differentiate this one using quotient rule, we put down the bottom, which is 3x plus 4, and differentiate the top with respect to x. The top here is 1, so 1 is a constant. When you differentiate a constant, you get 0. Minus, you put down the top, which is 1, and differentiate the bottom. When you differentiate the bottom with respect to x, 4 is a constant, it will be 0, then we have 3. Then we have bottom squared. So the answer is negative 3 over 3x plus 4 squared. So when we differentiate from the first principle, we must be able to get the same result. Now, uh, differentiating from the first principle, we must know that uh, That in the limit when h approaches zero, uh, we have f of x plus h minus f of x all over all over h. Now from this equation, our f of x will be equal to one all over three x plus four. Then our f of x plus h will be equal to now. When there is x in this equation, we put there x plus h. So this will be equal to 1 all over 3 into x plus h and plus plus 4. Therefore, we now substitute in this, this equation. The limit when h is approaching zero. So now this is one. Then minus f of x which is Then we divide by h. Now, let me work with the new. Let me simplify the numerator first. The LSM of the numerator will be what? Uh, will be three. Q 
is four. That is four. So this will be the LCM. So how many times will this goes into this LCM? It goes at three x plus four times one minus how many three x plus four goes into this? It goes there this time. So minus three x plus three h plus four. So this equals to and this is four and four. So we have three x plus four minus three x minus three h minus four over three x plus three h plus four three x plus four three x and three x four and four. So what we have here now the limit so we have now remain minus three H over three X plus three H plus four three X plus four. Remember we are dividing by by H. So this H and that one will cancel. So this equals to minus three over Now in the limit we put h equals to zero, so this will be equal now minus three over three x plus now this is zero plus four into three x plus four. So this equals to minus three all over three x plus four three over x over four that the same, so we have three x plus four n squared. So we have differentiated f of x equals to 1 over 3x plus 4 from the first principle. We get negative 3 all over 3x plus 4 then squared. As you can see, uh, even after differentiating the quotient rule, we have the same thing. Find the y dx given that y is equal to sine <coughs> sine four x cubed. Now y equals to four x sine four x cubed. This one can be written as y can be written as equals to sine four x raised to 3, then let u equals to sine, let u equals to sine 4x, that is the case, then y will be equal to, to u raised to 3, from it y with respect to u, dy, du will be equal to 3 u squared, and then we differentiate u with respect to x. The u dx when you differentiate sine x you get when you differentiate sine four x you get four cos four x. Remember here a chain rule. If you have we have a chain rule there. <coughs> Sorry. Therefore, du dx equals to four cos 4x, then chain rule, dy dx equals to dy du dot du dx, which equals to, now dy du is 3u squared, 
dot du dx which is 4 cos 4x so it is equals to 3 times 4 12 u squared cos 4x but what is u squared uh, what is the u, u sign for x so here we have 12 sine 4x squared cos 4x so that is it so the derivative of y equals to sine 4x cubed is 12 sine 4x squared cos 4x <coughs> Get the derivative of this. This is uh, an example of an implicit uh, equation. So, we differentiate using product rule. So, uh, here we put down the first and differentiate the second. So, the first here is x squared. Then, differentiate the second with respect to x. We shall be able to get dy dx. Then, plus put down the second which is y differentiate the first which is x squared we get 2x then plus same here uh, let 3x cubed be my first so we put down the first 3x cubed then differentiate the second when you differentiate y squared with respect to x you get 2y dy dx then we put down the second plus y squared then differentiate the first when you differentiate 3x squared we shall get here 9 9x squared because 3 times 3 9 then here we remain with yeah that is fine then here minus when you differentiate 6x squared you get 12 get 12x plus when you differentiate 2y with respect to x you get 2 dy dx equals to 0 you see here put down the first 3x cubed Differentiate the second, we differentiate y squared with respect to x, we get 2y dy dx. Then put down the second, which is y squared, differentiate, and it's okay. <coughs> now this is x squared dy dx, plus here we have 2yx. Plus 3 times 2, I have 6 x cubed y dy dx. Plus, I have 9 y squared x squared minus 12 x plus 2 dy dx equals to 0. So, I want to group all that have dy dx to put them together. So I'll start with this one, I have x squared plus 6x cubed y plus 2, then we put outside the y dx, then the rest crosses equal sign, I'll start with that equal to 2, it will be 12x minus 9y squared x squared minus 2yx now to remain with dy dx you divide through by this so dy dx will be equal to 12x minus 9y squared x squared minus 12yx over 
x squared plus 6x cubed y plus 2. That is it. y dx would be equal to that. Thank you for watching and listening.